Hi there, I'm James Blackman. I'm with Enterprise IoT Insights and RCR Wireless. We're here at Mobile World Congress 2019 in Barcelona. I'm joined by Ashish Sharma, who is CMO and EVP for IoT and Mobile at um, Insego. Yeah. Ashish, great yeah. to have you with us. Good morning. Uh, Ashish, can you talk us around the, the Insego kind of view of the yeah. 5G space and yeah. through the work you're doing with yeah. the operator community? Yeah. Well, you know, it's a, it's a super exciting space for us uh, since we've been working away on this for more than uh, two, three years now. And, and it, it is so exciting to see the market come together. And uh, I just want to let you know that we are present um, on the show floor here in multiple partner booths with our solution uh, and probably one of the very, very few solution providers who have a live device working in some of the partner booths with a live 5G connection. Uh, we are showcasing multiple demonstrations of some really, really cool 5G use cases. We have a, a great robotics use case with a partner called Cloud Minds, where you can see how um, our 5G mobile solution, mobile hotspot solution is enabling a very, very fast and, and uh, and a sub, you know, 10 millisecond type of uh, latency on a, on a live 5G connection where, you know, we are enabling um, a cloud, you know, cloud robot, uh, which is cloud control, which requires uh, such high speed and low latency. Um, so that's one demo we are doing. Second demo is we are working on uh, with Verizon where we are showcasing uh, a, a virtual reality use case of a firefighter uh, you know, kind of in a situation where, um, you know, in a real world scenario, he's in a in a situation where he's trying to look through the fog and 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 and, and the fire and ability to transpose uh, a virtual reality session with a 5G connection goes a long way in saving lives in that scenario. So for us, it's just a great market and and lots of customer traction here at uh, Mobile Mobile World Congress, both. Um, on millimeter wave as well as sub six gigahertz solutions for mobile applications as well as fixed applications. And you talk there about some of the, the more innovative use cases, I guess, but you've yeah. also got this MiFi product, which has existed yeah. for some time. And yeah. can you talk around the evolution of that kind of core product through the 5G yeah. uh, you know, era? I yeah, guess. Mm. so MiFi really is, is our underlying technology stack that we build into our mobile solutions. And now basically we've taken that, that, uh, that mobility stack and we've kind of evolved it quite a bit with 5G with many, many new uh, enhancements to the to the stack. Uh, that includes a lot of new antenna techniques we are using, um, multi layers of, of new security schemes built into it, as well as our custom algorithms we have built into it for extremely fast and quick response times. Uh, that technology is now being embedded into our mobile solutions, into our fixed solutions, as well as into our industrial IoT solutions of, okay. you know, brand name Skyus. Okay, and uh, and just you know, real world 5G. I mean, you know, there are networks going live. You've you've been through the, lots of their testing and this kind of stuff. Yeah. Can you tell me about real life performance versus the the uh, you know the messaging we're hearing around very yeah. very ultra low latencies and higher bandwidth, high reliability, this kind of yeah. stuff. Yeah, it, it's uh, technology delivers. Uh, you know, yeah. there is a lot of work to do to roll out the networks mm -hmm. and get the connectivity out to the end customers but but what we have seen in the in the early deployments and field trials is extremely promising both on sub 6 gigahertz mm -hmm. as well as on millimeter wave uh, 5g essentially is a game changer mm -hmm. with with you know so much capacity and 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 just the network architecture of of uh, ability to deliver mm -hmm extremely low latencies. It, it's a small fraction of what you get with the advanced 4G today. It is an absolute game changer. A lot of people talk about, you know, the web browsing and, and you know, the YouTube downloads and whatnot, you know, the downlink. But with 5G, a lot of people don't realize is the uplink uh, becomes a real, real uh, big deal where you can now, you know, look at applications, you know, virtual reality, you know, being one of them. Mm -hmm where, you know, those applications just weren't possible before, now they would be possible with 5G. And I mean, that, I mean that's interesting, isn't it, the uplink and, and how, how things are changing there. I mean, you know, we have, 
uh, you know, AI being brought into the yeah. into the game as well. And you mentioned earlier the work with cloud mines and then robotics. Yeah. I wonder if you can talk around the the, the kind of real world application of that. Yeah, the technology. great question. Look, uh, there is a lot of advancements in the industry on AI and AI. Um, if you go and ask different uh, solution providers, is there's no one single concept of AI. To me, AI is, is both uh, you know a, an edge computing mm -hmm. phenomena as well as a cloud computing phenomena. And mm -hmm. to me, you know, bridging that together with an extremely fast um, connection with very very low latency is the way to go because uh, you know AI is going to run both on the edge as well as um, you know with the big you know big data computing on the uh, cloud side, mm -hmm. and that's the power of 5G that it kind of bridges the intelligence you know, very close to where the use case is happening, uh, not just in a far away remote cloud location. Mm -hmm. And um, I, I'm, I'm interested as well in the, in the work you're doing in the aviation space, you have this C-Track brand. Yeah. Uh, can you talk around that and what, what's happening there? Yeah, so our solutions that if you look at, you know, we've got our mobile solutions, our fixed solutions, our industrial IoT solutions, so these are the devices and appliances, and then we've got a great, you know, cloud solution behind it that allows you to bring, you know, derive a lot of the intelligence from the use cases. And C-Track is our uh, intelligent SaaS solution, which allows our customers to derive, you know, very, very detailed intelligence in mm -hmm. in multiple different vertical markets. And and we're, you know, we've. Uh, uh, found a great great market in aviation where we are now enabling uh, deep intelligence in tracking high value asset tracking within the airports and airlines and that's a great market for us with some great customers early customers in KLM and Lufthansa and, mm -hmm. and many others. Ashish thanks for joining us. Well Thank thanks you. James. Okay cheers. <laughs>